you know, each and every day, as I told you guys, I talk about money in some form or fashion. Just the way guys think about sex 90% of the day. I think about money. Why do I think about money? Because wherever you go in the world, money is the language that everybody speaks. Let me, let me give you an example. If you go to India and you don't even know how to speak the native tongue, but you have their money, okay? You have their money in your hand. And you like, you pointed an item. You like, how much is that? And you spread your money out. He like, oh, it's that much. And he'll grab me out. He may teach you because you like, he don't know the language. He don't know what I'm saying. But nevertheless, people understand money. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. We started from the bottom. Now, where are we now? We started from the bottom. Now, where are we? Where are we? We started on this road about a year ago, and some of you newcomers, subscribers, viewers, etc., thank you for joining the channel. I appreciate the support. This is the thing, guys. This channel exists because of you and I are on a mission. You and I are family. You and I are on this road together for success. Not just success of saving, investing, budgeting and getting out of debt with our money. No, 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 no. We are doing this so when we are 50, when we are 60, we can go, uh, I'm going to retire. I don't want to work anymore. And for those who are in their 30s, the one word I want you to remember is aggressive. Is aggressive. For those who are in their 20s, I want you to remember these two words, very aggressive, okay? For those who are in their mid 40s, 50s, 60s, conservative, moderate, okay? 45 to 50, 45 to 55, moderate. 55 to 65, conservative. What am I talking about? When it comes to investing in your 20s, in your 30s, very aggressive, too aggressive. You're hitting your 40s, you're hitting your 50s. Moderate. 55, 65. Conservative. Investments, okay? We're talking about investing. Now, we have to flip it. Flip mode? We have to flip it. When it comes to saving, if you're in your 55 and your 65s and those realm of numbers, okay? That decade of numbers, you need to start to save very aggressively. When you're in your 40s to 50s, you need to save aggressively. When you're in your 30s to 40s, you save moderately. And when you're in your 20s, you conservatively save. Why? As you start to get older, you want to start securing funds more rapidly than before and not being more riskier in your investment because the older you get, you don't want to lose money because you ain't going to be working to make money. Make sense? And vice versa, when you're younger and you're working, you know, you'll be working 20, 30, 40, 50, 30, 40 years of your life. That first initial 10 years, 15 years, you can aggressively invest. Now, also, this remedy, this method, this formula depends on how much money you have to play with, okay? You have to play with or invest with. Now, if you have up teen millions in the bank, then and you can lose a million or two, then it doesn't really matter how old you are because you already probably secured your financial retirement, your financial future. So you may even make more money, not depending on what age you are. We started from the bottom. Now what? You have to think about it now. Now, if you're 20, 21, 22, 25. It's hard to reach you guys. Okay? It's hard to reach you guys. And I can't get inside your living room. I can't go inside your car and smack the sense in you because I wish, I wish I had somebody over me. I wish I had somebody telling me, you will do this. You will allocate this amount of money into investment. You will allocate this money into savings. You will not accumulate this debt. 
X, Y, and Z, A, B, C. I wish, I pray, I wish that that would happen to me when I was younger. Because do you know how much money I would have in the bank? The stock market is still on a rip right now. I looked at the stock market today, and today is September the 12th. Okay, September the 12th. It's on an absolute tear. I, I think only one of my stocks did bad. Like, my return today was like 20%, okay? And ever since, like, last week, I did some, you know, moving around, sold some, bought some, and it moved up to 10%, but I doubled that in one day. Now, granted, tomorrow, we you know, it can go down. That's how the stock market is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what it does. But nevertheless, understand where we started and where you are now. Are you in a better position than you first when you started Robin Hood, when you started Stash, when you started Acorns, when you started Betterment, when you started Wealth Simple, when you started Wealth Front, when you started Wise Banging, when you started Change? All of these methods out here, all of these different ways, are you in a better position financially than you were before? Then when we first started, when I encourage you or your mother, your father, a mentor, a teacher, someone prevalent in your life, encourage you to start investing. And then now we're just perpetuating that, that feeling, that form, that method, that way of you getting more money, more money, more money. That is what it's all about. Let me tell you something. The reason why rich people are depressed it's because they don't have nothing to worry about. Think about that. They do drugs because they don't have money to worry about. They have so much money, they'll go out and party. Now, I don't want to be in a position where I'm depressed because I have so much money. That's when you have to find a goal in life. Like, I never hear anything horrible about Bill Gates or Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is in his 70s or is in his 80s now. He's a pretty old guy and he's been rich for a long time but he keeps himself busy by investing. So rich people who have all his money and they don't really have any goals or anything they want to accomplish in life, them the ones who do bad. Cause you're like, why are they so depressed killing themselves if they have all this money? Because they don't know what to do. They don't have a goal. So regardless of how, mon how much money you accumulate, guys, keep a goal in mind. Keep a goal because you started from the bottom and now you're here. Okay, and now you're here. So don't go into your investments. Don't go into your savings to spend or splurge or just blow it. I'm going to tell you the, one, the number one answer that really bothers me when people ask me in the comment section, walking down the street, talking amongst friends, that ask me about an app. Like, let's take, for instance, Stash. I really like Stash. They ask me about Stash, right? And they say, okay, yeah, $5 to join, but when can I take out my money? Never. <laughs> when are you going to need this money? That is when you take it out. And see, people misconstrue, they misunderstand, they miscomprehend what's the difference between a need and a want. You want to take it out. You don't need to take it out because before stash, you was going to the corner store, buying all sorts of junk food. You was going to... Uh, I don't know, Ikea, buying all sorts of flat furniture for the pack in your car, all type of silly stuff that you just splurged and frivolously blew money on. The money that you invest, you don't need. You don't need now, granted, okay, granted, that if you went bankrupt, about to lose your house, car about to get repoed, but all of this on this channel is to prevent that. So... There should be no reason for you to take money out. That is the reason why you need to stay motivated and you need to understand where you came from. This is Ross World. We started from the bottom. Now the only way, the only way that we can go is to the top. So don't you touch your damn investment accounts. Don't you touch your damn savings account. The only thing, the only thing I want you to touch is getting out of debt. I'm out.